All right, guys, day 27. Um, cleaning up a little bit over here. Um, getting ready to get all of this stuff out of here because this is going to be my next uh, conquer area. I'm going to build this wall right here. But today, um, I so I, I put the wall up for this shower right here. Or not the shower, the bathroom. So there's going to be the wall right there. Then I studded up to the ceiling. So this is going to be the door entrance. So you got the wall, the door. This is going to be like the pantry, like I told you. And this is going to be like the racks, but it's going to be a solid wall from floor to ceiling. Um, I, I took off this, uh, all this stuff. I reinforced it. I started like just, uh, I spray foamed inside of there all along the bottom. And then I started piecing in like extra boards and spray foamed all the seams just to get rid of like whatever like random materials I have. I'm not going to go out and buy um, fresh material on, um, I have the, a, a froth pack, but I'm going to actually use that on something else, which I'll show you in another video. But, uh, for these two, I'll just, you know, I'm just doing this, like piecing it together. It's good. It's like, once it dries, it's like rock solid in there. It's like welds all that plastic together. But, um, yeah, it's, so there's a ton of spray foam in the bottom and then there's, I'm just like piecing boards in there just to get rid of it. Put some studs in. Um, yeah, so I cut the, I cut the plywood out and, uh, that's in there. So that was a, that was a little bit of a pain cut, getting the actual curve for that. So I ended up making a, once I did it, I made a paper, a template. So next time I don't have to deal with that, but yeah, that's a pain in the ass. So yeah, I cut it all out. This was the first one I did pain in the ass. I cut it like 12 times to actually get it to fit that contour. This was the second one I did. This one I used the template for, but it came out a lot better. Um, yeah, so we got the wall, got this. I drilled a hole through my finger today. Still blood on the ground over here. Drilled a hole straight through my index finger when I was screwing it in that corner. I was in like an awkward angle and the drill went, drill went right through my finger. So uh, luckily the first aid kit came in handy and I patched myself up. Um, Hardy backer still sitting here waiting for the execution, but it's the, the, this isn't ready yet. I did underneath this drain. I have that bottle sitting there just to block air because the air just like blasts through that hole. If there's some, if there's not something in there. Um, yeah, so I, I did underneath this today. I, uh, you know, resealed everything, repainted everything, um, cleaned up all the edges and did all that stuff. Um, what was I going to tell you? Oh yeah. So I had like an idea. Where is it? I had an idea. So this is like, this is the stuff for like the, the mesh, but this for the, you know how they have like the toilet bowls and there's like a wax seal that goes from the bottom of the toilet bowl around the floors and just so there's no water leaks or nothing. I'm going to use that on this drain. So basically what's going to happen is when I lift this pan up around that hole I cut in the floor, I'm going to lay this ring instead of like silicone or something. I'm going to use that. I'm still going to use that, but this, I'm going to, this is going to be the main thing. Now I'm going to put this around the hole and then I got the one that fits the exact size of this drain. So the drain will slide right through the middle of this and we'll make like a, like a wax seal around the floor. You don't have to worry about no water getting in, nothing getting in from underneath, no moisture, no nothing. It's going to just be a perfect seal. It's the perfect height because uh, the ribs on the bottom of the tub are just a little bit shorter than this. So uh, yeah, it'll, it'll smush it down, but it won't smush it like cr completely crush it and like ruin uh, the integrity of the seal. So this works actually, it's going to work perfect. So I don't know what made me think of this, but I was in Home Depot thinking of seals and then something brought this to my mind. So that's what I'm going to use to actually keep a really nice seal around that hole. Um, yeah. So, oh yeah. So you can see I'm like sitting, I'm, I'm on this table. This is the table that I started building, right? Like, so there's this guy, he had like tables for sale and, uh, you know, he wanted a couple hundred dollars for the, for the wood tables. And the, the way I think of things is like, I don't mind buying quality products to put inside the bus, but if it's something that I can build and I'm, and I, and it's going to come out just as nice, um, and have my own little art artistic twist to it. I'm just going to do it myself. So, uh, as much as I would love to have that brand new table, I'm building my own. I mean, this is not the best wood, 
but uh, it's not hardwood, but it, 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 it's coming out awesome. I mean, I joined, I joined everything, wood glued it, clamped it all, let it sit. There's still clamp on this side, but um, let it all sit, you know, overnight. And then I uh, sanded everything down and then I put the edges on here. So you can see like there's another piece of wood joined. So I joined another edge. So it's got that all the way around. So it actually looks like a, you know, a thicker piece than it actually is. It doesn't really look like a thicker piece because you can see the seam, but uh, you get the idea. Once it's all stained, um, I think it's gonna look awesome. Polyurethane it. So I, I built that myself. And instead of spending a couple hundred dollars on a table, I spent, it was like $8 for each plank. So three planks at $8 a piece and then $2 eight foot common board. That was it. And then my table is, and I love it. You know, it's got this different wood in the middle. So when I stain it, it'll get stained a different color. So it'll be like one color, another color, and then something is slightly off. And then I'll put the polyurethane. So it'll have like a two tone effect. But um, yeah, man, I mean, yeah. Forget paying uh, random people for like leftover product. I'll make my own. That's, that's what I'm doing building my own table um it's the perfect size got the space for the refrigerator under here started doing a little like experimenting with the paneling as you can see back there like i got that paneled right there i have reinforced everything um started laying like a little bit of trim there and started getting measurements for this so you can see like that it's gonna start doing the trim gonna start doing more trim gonna lay gonna do the other like what i'm the insulating i'm gonna do that tomorrow and then I'm going to finally cover these wheel wells off once it's completely stuffed with insulation. Then uh, once that's covered off, you know, it's going to get this rest, the rest of the bottom of the cabinets is going to get finished. So, yeah, I mean, we're moving along now. Now is the now is getting to the point where I can actually start like like I'm starting to actually get stuff done instead of all like random like crap. But yeah, so I got the wall. Table. I think the table came out really oh it didn't come out good yet it's not done but i think the top of the table came out awesome i mean got a whole bunch of stain brushes um paint brushes and i told you guys yesterday i did the roof of the bus that product the cool seal worked great that was a super easy product to to use it dries really fast five or ten minutes is completely dry like you can walk on it so yeah, that was a that was a great product. Um, I really like that stuff. I got a propane tank in here so I can test the grill and test the uh, the hot water heater, which I'm about to bring in here tomorrow. So um, once I go to Home Depot and get the wood and I do all this, uh, I'm gonna tomorrow. It's gonna be tomorrow that the hot water heater gets hung on there. Um, and I start testing everything out, and I'm gonna run water lines tomorrow, and then um. Yeah, this shower I'm gonna finally finish off. You can see I'm like starting to like get the piece for the back and starting to get everything um, situated. So the bot, so the the pan is done. So what happened was, I took out the pan, I repainted everything, resealed everything, rewaterproofed the seams like where the subfloor is. So there's no like, um, there's no way that anything can get in there. It's all taped off with um, aluminum tape, and uh, it's all waterproofed. All the wood edges were waterproof before I did that. Um, just to be extra safe, I know there's no water that's going to be going down there, you know, in, in, a, in a perfect world. But just in case, I sealed all of the seams. I caulked everything. Um, and then what I did is I, I properly framed and blocked the shower base. I mean, you some people just lay these in there and, you know, think that they're good to go. It, the, I mean, you can get away with it if you want. I mean, it's up to you. But um, the proper way to do this is actually to frame off the base of the shower. You should have supports underneath all these all these edges where the pan goes up and then it goes towards the wall there should be um you know like a square frame or underneath the bottom or built into your your studs on your walls either way you do it i mean there should definitely be something in there supporting the whole pan because you don't want to have a situation where like if you stand on the corner of the pan even if it moves the slightest bit it's going to jeopardize your 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 um waterproofing at the seam where you're hardy backer is and if you get a tear in there and you don't really notice it your water can be dripping down the shower walls and then getting behind the pan so you don't want the pan to move at all anything that moves inside the shower is going to jeopardize your waterproofing because it's going to break seams and a bus is already twisting i know we talked about that already but 
yeah, that's why I apply wood to the walls and I'm I'm going through all this to make this to make sure that this section from floor to ceiling is rock solid. So once everything's done, there will be like, you know, um, L's connecting this wall to that wall all along the back of there. Same thing on that side, just to make sure that there's no twist, that if this wall twists, that one twists, that one twists. So there's, you know, everything's interconnected. So it's just going to be like one rock solid column that goes up to the ceiling. And if you want to leave a little bit of a buffer room for something to give a little bit, do it at the top or something, or do it, do it somewhere where it's not going to be in the middle, you know, just to so it doesn't damage and get water damage in your bus. But I don't know if you understood what I just said, because, you know, I'm kind of tired right now. But uh, yeah, so this is going to get paneled off tomorrow. Um, I just decided, you know, the piece, the insulation in there came out good. It's like rock solid. It's, you know, it's good. So um, we got to cover this up. And then um, that wall, don't know why I did it. I was like in the middle of so many, trying to remember so many different things that I actually like stopped here. I should have went to the ceiling with a stud, you know, and then did the, did the thing. And then I, I was like, why did I stop right there? What was I thinking? Was I thinking I was going to make like a, I don't know what I was thinking. I, I don't know. I just lost concentration for a minute, but that's what happens when you start losing focus. That beam should technically be going straight to the ceiling. So, um, I'm going to have to put, I'm, gonna, I'm probably just going to pull it out and just put another, put the beam straight to the ceiling. And then as I did that, I was like, well, you know, maybe I don't have to go all the way to the ceiling because we were already talking about how maybe not do a full wall on the, the, the bathroom, maybe leave a little bit exposed so it's not like so like confined area. So I was thinking about doing that, maybe just leaving it how it is, you know, making this rock solid so it's more stable, you know, without that beam going from there to the ceiling, it loses a lot of its, um, you know, support because these things, once they're bracketed in those things are like rock solid so uh i would have to reinforce that you know to make up for that um beam that's missing to the ceiling but i i don't know you know i'm still thinking about it i still got till tomorrow i'll probably make a decision tonight if i'm gonna leave it like this maybe put some cool decorations on top just so it's not completely closed in in the in the bathroom i mean some people might not be into that but you know it's not your bus um yeah Got this, you know, I showed you guys real quick um, yesterday, but I was in such a rush. So that's the weathered gray stain. Um, yeah, that's weathered gray. I like how it looks. I've always liked that like, dusty, dirty gray color. It looks kind of worn. So yeah, I'm gonna do most of the bench that color, but I'm also gonna do some other, you know, probably maybe some like, uh, cause I got a couple more colors that I haven't tried yet. I don't know. I got this, I got um, sun bleached, and then this um, black cherry, which is really, it's like basically purple. Black cherry stain is purple. So um, that's the first one I tried on there, and I was like, oh my god, it looks like purple, purple. Look, like someone smashed uh, oh, those little berries all over. Um, yeah, I just, uh, I, I'm just can't wait to get to like this area right now. That's what I'm trying to clean up. I was, that's what I was just doing before this video is I'm starting to clean up because, um, I haven't really even gave this area too much thought. I know that this is my fireplace and, um, this is going to be my entertainment area for, so for like a TV, maybe like that half wall here so I can put that rail, that railing from the bus. I still want to use that from there going up to like the half wall, but then I need to put like my TV. So I was thinking maybe put my TV like inside an entertainment system that I'm going to build like mounted flush inside of it, kind of like at waist height facing that way. So facing the couch. So I would have the couch, you know, whatever entertainment system stuff, a little diagonal type of thing, maybe some storage behind some special made box with my TV mounted inside there. So I can maybe flip open the hatch and have access to the wires behind the TV and the, you know, whatever. But, um, yeah, this is the part where I'm starting to think about now. So I'm going to start cleaning this up. This, this bin right here is empty. So I'm going to go around the bus and throw all this random stuff inside the bin. I got like all those bags of garbage back there. I mean, garbage just comes out of nowhere when in doing this build. I mean, I have every day I have like this to get rid of just bags and bags of garbage. So that I just did. 
but yeah, I mean, that's it, guys. It's getting there. I mean, it's getting there. I mean, the next, the next week, the next two weeks is going to be crazy. The next two weeks is going to be like night and day. You know what? I was going through the videos yesterday and I can't believe like, you don't really notice it when you're doing it, but I was like, man, just like that video says like a month old and it was like the bus with seats still in it. I was like, I can't believe I came this far in a, in a month. I mean, Jesus, you know, in the, it, it, it's, it's hard. You get like so distracted because the, the entire bus, it's not like you have this thought out. I mean, this is like a work in progress as you go, as you go, you realize you can't do some things that you wanted to do. And then, you you know, so you get really distracted doing this. And, uh, I can't believe that I'm, I came to, I'm this far already. It's in, and two more weeks from now. I mean, even one week from now, one at the stage I'm at right now, one week is going to be like, I mean, counter's going to be done. Walls are going to be done. Shower's going to be installed, running, working. Um, kitchen sink will be installed. The water tank in the bank will, the back will be fully installed and working. Um, yeah, I mean, in a week from now, I'll probably just be working on the fireplace area, which is probably going to be done in a day because there's not much to it. And this, this is going to be my end up, probably end up being my last project is the inside of here is going to be the entertainment system, which I don't know what I'm going to do um, as of yet. But um, yeah, and then all, other than that, like going around doing the cabinets for the kitchen and, you know, like the trims and the two-tone paints and stains and polyurethanes. And then, and then as soon as this is done, I'm jumping to the outside to finish the bus because I did the roof. So now I need to, you know, go outside. I'm going to do some, that's what I should have done today. I forgot. I was so busy. Uh, my plan was today because it was so nice outside was to go out and do a couple Bondo works on some areas. Oh yeah. And I took this off too. I took the... um. So I took the the school bus thing out. It's like brand new. The school bus thing out from the front of the bus. And then I took um, all that wiring and like kind of rolled it up real neat and put a clamp on it. But yeah, I took that out and I got a guy that actually wants to buy this thing for 150 bucks. So I was like, okay, you could have it. Yeah, he, he wants to buy it for 150 bucks. It's brand new, really. I mean, they must have put it on the bus like not that long ago. But yeah. Under 50 bucks, sell that. I'll use that money to put towards some other random crap inside this bus. But yeah. So that's it, guys. Oh. Yeah, it's coming along. Got the walls up in the shower. Once you put those top pieces on there, it really starts to like come together. Like you get that bus feel, like a oh, schooly feel. It was not, nothing was all the way to, from the floor to the ceiling. So today when I did this, this was the first pieces that were actually, you know, sealed off into a complete room. But um, I'm going to insulate these walls too with the extra insulation I have. I, I might as well. It's a shower. I'm going to, you know, keep that nice and warm. Uh, I have extra insulation, so I'm just going to line the walls with it. Yeah, that's it. There's the table. Table's eight feet long. Yep. All right, guys.